This excessive heat is not stopping many activities that simply must go on. A lot of local high school athletes, for instance, are taking the field for practice. News Channel 15's Drew Blair joins us live with how those students and their supervisors are coping with this extreme heat. Well, Mark and Heather, this is our fifth day in a row in the 90s, and it just so happens that some area football teams and marching bands started camp this week, and those guys have to take the field, but they're doing their best to take it easy. Before you go to bed, plenty of water before you even get here, okay? Guys, Words of advice from a man who knows. So start practicing when your feet are moving, when your feet are not moving. This is tough. This has probably been the hottest year that I've had here at Heritage. Probably one of the hottest years in the last 12 years. One and two and three. But at Heritage Junior Senior High School, the heat marches on, and so does practice. Unfortunately, there's just some things you can't do inside if you're a marching band. These kids are used to taking steps, so taking steps to stay cool is no problem. You have to dress for it, you have to drink lots of water, eat plenty of fruit, and everything like that. Can't like think about how hot it's going to be, you just have to prepare for it. Just do it. This heat is really something marching bands and athletes just have to get used to. We're just a couple weeks away from these guys being on the football field in full uniform. When we have to put on those wool, wool polyester blend uniforms uh, the first week of September, it can still be 85 degrees, heat index is in the 90s, and we have to be very, very careful. Right now, students are not only practicing moves, they're training their bodies to adjust for what's to come. It's all mental. We have staff out there like helping us keep us going. This is your page 10. But it's basically just yourself, got to keep pushing yourself. Sometimes we have to actually make them sit down and relax because sometimes they actually overexert themselves and they don't realize they're doing it. So, yeah, it might be sweaty, hot, like icky, like ew. But with plenty of water and breaks when needed, the heat and the beat goes on. Reporting in Monroeville, Drew Blair, News Channel.